Hey there, let's walk through how to create an avatar video. It's super simple. We will go to this button and then choose create avatar video. Here you have the option to let the AI quickly generate a video for you, but we're going to build one manually so you can clearly see the step-by-step -step process behind every detail. What we need to do here is create each scene of the video. Every scene can have a different avatar but I recommend using only one avatar per scene to avoid confusing the AI. As you can see, I already have several avatars created. And in this example, I'm going to build a conversation between these two. The grandson talking to the grandfather about a drone he just bought. Of course, it can be a drone or any other product you sell. Makeup, a cap, whatever you want. To do this, we'll create a new scene where the avatar is holding the drone. I already have a few scenes prepared, but we're going to build a fresh one together. Remember that a scene is simply an image of the avatar in a specific pose, which the AI will later animate. That's why I'm going to describe the scene I want it to create. In this case, have the avatar hold the drone from the image in its hand. I'll also provide the image it needs to reference. I click here to add context images and select the drone image. I had already uploaded it. It's just a simple picture I found online. I'm also going to upload a context image of my avatar showing the pose and environment I want. I already created mine, but you can build yours from scratch. You can create it right here in this tool or use the AI image creator or the AI editor. You can even find an image online that matches the idea in your head and use it as a reference for the AI. After that, just choose the parameters you want and select how many images you'd like it to generate. We'll fast forward this part so the video doesn't get boring, but keep in mind that this loading time depends directly on the image generation model being used. And of course, we always use the most advanced ones available. Great, I like the image the AI suggested, so I'm going to save this scene. Now it's time to write the script for this scene. I already have mine prepared, so I'll just paste it in. Perfect, our first scene is ready. Now let's add the second one. In this scene, I want the grandfather to appear, so I'll select him along with this scene I already created. I paste the script for what he's going to say and then move on to the next scene. This will be our final scene, and we'll bring the kid back again to close out the idea of the drone. This time, he won't be holding the drone, so I'll select this image instead. I add the script for this scene, and now we can generate the speech for each part to see how everything sounds. Let's speed up the speech a bit to add more energy to the video. Click Generate Speech and listen. I've been testing this drone for the past few days and honestly, it flies way smoother than I expected. Even indoors, it stays pretty stable. What do you think, Grandpa? I like it, so I'll leave it as is. If you don't like something, you can always go back and adjust the script. I recommend experimenting with commas to emphasize pauses ellipses, line breaks, and different grammatical structures so the speech sounds exactly how you want. Let's test the grandfather's speech. I don't know anything about drones, but this tool is fantastic. Who would have thought I'd be making AI videos at my age? Nice, that works too. And finally, the last scene. Here we can add a speech tag like laugh to see how it sounds. Speech tags are little instructions inside brackets that shape the delivery of the voice without being spoken aloud by the avatar. Let's generate it and listen. <laughs> anyway, if you want a pocket-sized drone just to have fun, shoot quick clips, or practice, this one's totally worth it. Simple, stable, and really fun to fly. Sounds good. We'll keep it. Now we need to click on Continue, and we can choose how all the scenes will be stitched together. First, we can pick the subtitle placement and style. Let's go with the highlighted style and with the Poppins font. For the color, hmm, green, or maybe orange. And finally, we adjust the text size and the number of lines per row. Moving on to the animation settings, we can choose the animation applied to each scene. All scenes will share the same effect. Let's try a zoom in. You can also choose transition effects between scenes but for this example, we'll keep it without transitions. And that's it. All our video settings are ready. Let's choose the fast option to generate the video. AI generated videos can take a few minutes since there are many elements involved, but it's just a matter of waiting. Let's give it a moment and let's see how it turned out. I've been testing this drone for the past few days and honestly, it flies way smoother than I expected. Even indoors, it stays pretty stable. 
What do you think, Grandpa? I don't know anything about drones, but this tool is fantastic. Who would have thought I'd be making AI videos at my age? <laughs> anyway, if you want a pocket-sized drone just to have fun, shoot quick clips, or practice, this one's totally worth it. Simple, stable, and really fun to fly. I hope this tutorial was helpful and that you like the final Avatar video. And, in case you didn't notice, I'm also an Avatar. All my movements in my entire script were created 100% with Follower. The rest is just a screen recording. I invite you to explore the platform and experiment with different video formats. The more detail you put into your configurations, the better your results will be and the closer the video will match what you have in mind. It's important to create good images for your scenes and to have an avatar that truly reflects what you're going for. Well, that's all for today. I'm Alex, and I hope to see you soon in another video.